On June 6, 2025, a pivotal moment in Army aviation unfolded at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, as the 101st Airborne Division unveiled a striking 1/8 scale model of the MV-75, a state-of-the-art aircraft that represents the cutting edge of vertical lift technology. Held in the atrium of the division's headquarters, the ceremony signified not just the introduction of a new platform, but a sweeping transformation of airborne operations for decades ahead. Brigadier General Travis McIntosh, Deputy Commanding General for Support, stood alongside retired Chief Warrant Officer 5 Doug Englen, now a key figure at Bell Textron, as well as several current Army aviators, marking the official debut of the MV-75. This tilt-rotor aircraft, designed under the Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA, program, emerges as the successor to the venerable UH-60 Black Hawk, a helicopter that has served as the backbone of air mobility since the late 20th century. The MV-75 embodies the Army's future vertical lift, FVL, vision, promising unmatched speed, range, and survivability. The aircraft's capabilities are rooted in its advanced tilt-rotor architecture, modeled closely after the Bell V-280 Valor. This hybrid design allows for both vertical lift and fixed-wing-style cruising, offering a combat radius over 1,000 nautical miles and cruise speeds near 280 knots, more than doubling the reach and pace of current utility helicopters. Key to its innovation is the MV-75's modular framework and digital open systems architecture. These allow seamless upgrades with emerging tech such as AI-assisted mission planning, electronic warfare enhancements, and autonomous piloting features. By engineering adaptability into the airframe, the Army ensures the MV-75 remains combat-relevant amid rapidly evolving threats. Constructed with crash-resistant composite materials, the MV-75 integrates smart diagnostics for easier maintenance and reduced downtime. Its agility in both urban and mountainous terrain, combined with its high payload capacity, allows it to deliver full squads with gear deep into environments that would overwhelm legacy platforms. Currently, the 101st Airborne relies on the Black Hawk for assault missions, the Chinook for heavy lifting, and the Apache for firepower and reconnaissance. While each has proven its worth, they operate with inherent limitations in speed, range, and modern battlefield integration. The MV-75 is built to exceed these boundaries, enabling quicker troop deployments, longer operational standoff, and digital synergy with joint and allied forces. The Black Hawk typically tops out at 230 miles in range and cruises at roughly 280 kilometers per hour. The MV-75, by contrast, delivers over 500 kilometers per hour in speed and can operate far deeper into hostile territory without refueling. With added survivability through integrated threat detection and low observable elements, it becomes a far more resilient platform in high threat zones. Beyond performance metrics, the MV-75 reflects a shift in doctrinal thinking. It transforms how air assault forces engage adversaries, bringing digital precision, reduced response times, and seamless cross-domain coordination. The FLRA contract, awarded to Bell Textron in 2022 with an initial value of $1.3 billion, launched this effort into development and testing, with expectations of eventual mass production and deployment. The Screaming Eagles of the 101st have a storied history as a rapid response force. From the fields of Normandy to the deserts of the Middle East, they've exemplified airborne agility and force projection. With the MV-75, the division positions itself as a 21st-century vanguard, able to operate in contested, dispersed environments with unmatched mobility and precision. As global threats evolve and the pace of warfare accelerates, the MV-75 stands ready to carry the 101st Airborne, and the U.S. Army as a whole, into a new era of vertical dominance, ensuring mission superiority in the battle spaces of tomorrow.